Hey there, it's Shepard Chong here, and it's time for some odd thoughts. This is going to be a new series I'm doing where I ramble at you about some strange things that you probably have never thought about. Or possibly have never put much thought into. Um, well, I'll get started. So, when I was thinking about this series, the first thing that really came to mind actually comes from these recordings I've been doing. Um... If you've never done audio recordings before, you may never have noticed this, but your voice sounds different to other people than it does to you. These audio recordings I do, the, the way my voice sounds in the recording, it sounds different from the way I hear my voice when I talk. And this is true of pretty much everyone. Seriously. Make an audio recording. It doesn't have to be anything special. Make it a minute long. Uh, most computers nowadays have cameras and built-in microphones and stuff. Open up a sound recorder program, or download Audacity. I'd encourage Audacity. <laughs> um, but yeah, just record, record a line reading a book, reading a few sentences from a book or something. And then listen back to, you, to your recording and hear what your voice sounds like you'll notice that it sounds different than the way you hear your voice when you talk. So, it's sort of a question of why is that? Basically, the way I understand it is that, um, it's sort of like how you can't smell yourself. Uh, I, that's, a, that's a really bad example right there. Um, Basically, it has something to do with the way sound works. Um, sound is uh, vibrations through the air. Uh, you can actually get the same effect, from what I understand, if you like stand in a corner and like talk at the wall or something. The sort of um, echo you get back is actually what your voice actually sounds like. You know, scratch that thing I said about uh, how you can't smell yourself. That's it's really nothing like that. <laughs> it's a really bad example. Um, but yeah, when these recordings I make, my voice. When I hear my voice, it's deeper than what the recordings sound like. I mean, it's not like I hear myself as James Earl Jones or anything like that. I'm not deluded. Uh, it's just like if my voice, when I hear it, it's just like one octave deeper or something. When I hear my voice in these recordings, I swear I sound like I'm still a teenager. <laughs> I'm not a teenager. I haven't been for a few years now. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those weird things. You don't think about this kind of thing. Especially if you don't make audio recordings. I've been doing various audio recordings for crap and stuff since probably 2008. Yeah. It's something that's n you don't notice. And it is odd. You listening to this, you've probably never noticed this before in your life. Simply because it's not something you think about. You hear your voice, and that is what your voice sounds like. Except it doesn't. That's not a thought that comes into your head very often. Well, for some people it is, for some people it isn't. It, like I said, I've been doing audio recordings, it's something I've noticed. So, for the vast majority of people, this is an odd thought. You know, it's just, it's something strange. You don't think about it in your life. You don't think about it even sometimes when you're making recordings. And that's why it's an odd thought. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be the first episode of Odd Thoughts with Shepard Chong. Yeah, I suppose that's it. Bye.